everyone. Um, you will have seen a few clips of some things I'm working on and most of the clips were taken on, taken on the roof of my apartment block. Um, so I couldn't really talk because it was too windy. So I thought I'd just quickly, briefly explain to you in a few words what I'm working on. I've got most of the Love Grows lap blanket made. I'm working on the border, which I think is, will just be a crab stitch border. But I'm using the same pattern, hopefully, to make a poncho as well. So I've been swatching and doing the maths and um, you'll have seen me figuring out the size, my preferred size on my neck. Um, and this is it so far and I'm loving the feel of it. It's got a slightly looser drape than the Love Grows blanket because for that one I wanted the boggles to be nice and tight and I wanted it to be um, you know, as warm as possible. So I used a four and a half millimeter hook with this Drops Paris yarn, which is about an hour and a weight. Um, whereas for this poncho, I'm actually using a five millimeter. And it's a subtle difference, but it's definitely worth it. And I think it will mean that the way it will drape over the shoulders will be really nice. And the fact that I'm using cotton um, will help with that as well. So I'm working on that. And I'm thinking, just because the stitch pattern being the same as the Love Grows blanket, to um, have maybe a series. Um, so maybe it would be, I like the name Wisdom Grows. And I'm thinking of also doing a square shape square shaped blanket with the same stitch pattern and I'm thinking of calling that friendship grows there's also a wrap idea I've got a large rectangular wrap I'd like to do again the same stitch pattern I don't know the name for that so if you've got any ideas that would be brilliant don't hesitate to comment and let me know or contact me on Instagram or whatever um, all the ways you can um, contact me are at the end of these vloggy videos so that's the poncho. Another thing I'm working on is something, I shouldn't really start all these projects if I'm honest, I should just focus on one at a time, but I'm not like that. I, I need to really enjoy what I'm working on and I, get, I don't get bored of them. I just, it's more a case of um, designing something is what I really love doing. Making it is good fun, but while I'm making something I get a design, a design idea for something else and then I want to figure that out. So uh, yeah, that's been happening a lot recently and I can't resist it. But I've got this triangle, you won't really be able to see it very well. That's why I inserted some clips earlier of it against the sky so you could actually see the pattern of it. But um, my mum and I like designing cross stitch patterns and using a cross stitch design um, I'm working on, I thought I would turn it into filet crochet. So that's what I'm doing here. Lots of ends because this yarn does work up quite quickly. Um, and this will be called the candlelight shawl. It is, a, it is going to be a shawl triangle shape um, because it's sort of inspired by um, a nursery rhyme. I'm not sure if it's classed as a nursery rhyme actually. It's called, um, how Many Miles to Babylon, and um, it's in my children's book of nursery rhymes. I think it's a nursery rhyme one, or is it the, you know, it is, bedtime, bedtime songs. And in there, the lyrics say, um, if your heels are nimble and light, you may get there by candlelight. And I just imagine these cobbled streets with little houses that are lit up with candle lit lanterns and you know in their windows and some are closer some are further away even if there are little street lights so all the different sizes of um, candlelight would be flickering you know and I will show you a little bit of the design I'll insert a clip because I don't want to give it all away because um, some of it I might change anyway um, and I think this will be a paid for pattern eventually because there's quite a lot of work that will go into it and it's 
I don't know if you've done fillet crochet before, but I find that there is a fair bit of concentration involved. Things like the border, as you can see, you get uh, the idea for the rhythm of it. But when new patterns are arising in the center, you do have to concentrate on what you're doing. But once you get the hang of it, you can count in between. Like the maths is always very regular and everything's in line with each other. So as long as you get the first few bits right, the first few blocks, you'll be all right for the, for the rest of the rows. But I've definitely made a few mistakes and had to undo it a couple of times because I've wanted to do it when I'm not really in a state of concentration, you know, like in the evenings and stuff like that. I'm a bit tired. So that's that. And then this one, I literally only just sort of started yesterday, figuring out the maths for it. Um, and I already know the name for this one as well. Love and Lace. I hope that's not taken already. Even if it is, it's not, uh, it won't be an issue. I've got to call it Love and Lace because this is just, there's going to be a central heart. I've done a similar design with my previous business, the Lorraine Pugh Designs, and that was called The Ultimate Sacrifice. But with that one, I used merino wool and I want to stop uh, recommending, well, I want to just recommend yarns that I'm really comfortable with using that are kind to our animals and the environment. So at the moment, I'm just using cottons and organic cottons. And um, if you've seen previous videos, I've found a nice mohair replacement that does have a little bit of acrylic in it. Um, but you know, I just want to appeal to people that have allergies, you know, to animal conscious people, um, vegans especially, and um, anyone that cares about our planet. Um, so anyway, with that said, this is a little swatch that I'm working up and you, you really won't be able to tell how it will look. But for me, it gives me a rough idea of what the increases will look like. Um, so yeah, this is yet another thing I'm gonna be working on, but it'll be the central solid heart, if you like, similar to the Love Grows blanket. But as it opens up, it, it switches from being a solid heart to open lace work and it'll go grow outwards and downwards. And I think it would have to be quite big to really cover your shoulders. Um, but I'll design it in a way, hopefully, where it will be a regular repeat so you could make it as big or as small as you want. Um, but yeah, that's about all I've got to say about what I'm designing at the minute. I really wanted to get some little clothes made for my daughter's doll, but I think that I'll have to wait for the next vlog. So lots of design ideas going on, very little willpower to just stick with one. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and with this one, I'm not sure what weight yarn to use really. I've got this cotton, but I did think of using this gorgeous gradient cake. This is 100% organic cotton and I absolutely love it. All the details of this yarn will be um, in the description box below because my pronunciation may be incorrect. But it's a really, really pretty colour. I absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see because the light in this room is not very good, but um, it's like a well, it's tea, the tea colour, and then it goes out to a really soft pink. Um, so hopefully you can see that. And it works like a gradient cake, like with most gradients, you know, the one strand is replaced at a time to give you that gradient look. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say about that. So, um, yeah, see you in a bit.